Welcome everybody, today we are going to talk about the digital control in SMPs and FPGA based prototyping course. As a part of this we are going to cover module 9 which is about digital control implementation using microcontrollers. My name is Aramindan K, I am from Texas Instruments. I am going to cover today about getting started with C2000 devices and how to work on hardware and software that comes along with these devices to enable you to build digital control applications. So, the concepts that we are going to cover in this lecture are primarily we are going to focus on getting started with C2000, we are going to look at the C2000 ecosystem for development, what kind of hardware and software boards are available for development. We are also going to look at how to build your own digital power. So, we are going to talk about digital power SDK and power suit design tools and finally, we are going to briefly touch upon the support available through the ETV forum and the C2000 academy. The C2000 ecosystem is very broad in the sense that along with our devices, we also provide the hardware development platform which are the launch pads, control cards and application kits. We also provide a set of debuggers and programmers to enable software development and also we provide our own development tool chain like the CCS, Sysconfig and Resource Explorer to create your software. In addition to these uh, basic software and hardware pieces, we also provide software that runs on our C2000 devices like the C2000 Wear SDKs like the Digital Power and the Motor Controlled SDK. As you see that we have a wide range of support available to work on our device to build your AND application which could be an industrial drive automation or a motor control application. If you look at what are the support available for an entry level engineer. So, suppose you are new to C2000 and want to build quickly get an understanding of the device capabilities run some of the examples and software, then it is advised that you start with the launch pad or the launch pad plus booster pack or the control card. These three are, are very uh, low cost uh, starting point for you, a hardware starting point on which you can actually download our C2000 Wear software and start working on it to build some examples. If you are an intermediate level user, you are new to C2000, but you want to explore application specific development then it is best advised that you start with our SDKs, the digital power SDK or the motor control SDK. These SDKs support large varieties of uh, reference applications and designs that you can actually use the application kits and build and see them and see that how the performance of different algorithms and the topologies work on our hardware. Suppose you are an advanced level user who want to quickly build an end application then you should start with TI reference design. These reference designs again are supported with our software in the SDKs. Using these reference designs, you can actually see a complete application running on our custom made hardware. Now, this will quickly help you to move towards your end application and it is a great starting point if you are interested in building a quickly an end application. Now, we will look at each of these hardware development platform in little bit more detail the launch pads. Launch pads are the low cost development boards used for initial evaluation and prototyping. We provide lot of software and examples to run on the launch pads and also the launch pads have onboard debug probe that allows you to do real time debug and flash programming. Booster packs are available as add on boards. You can add them on top of the launch pads and also you can create applications that can help you to expand peripherals and potential applications that you can explore with our various launch pads. The control cards are the next low cost development platform which provide a low profile single board controller solution. Control cards require a docking station, a base board that powers the control card and also has breadboard area for prototyping. These control cards also can help you to build an application as close as possible to the end application. If you look at additional uh, support that we have, we have application kits. These kits are very much aimed at creating applications very close to the real end application. So, sometimes they are closer to the real world power levels that you want to build. These are also good at experimentation concept education. All application kits that we provide today have good amount of software user guides and these are also available as part of our SDKs. 
The last important one that we want to touch upon is the reference design. The TA reference design is a robust design library that spans across many of our processor community. So, the, these are created by TA experts to help you jump start on your system design. All the reference designs that you create today have schematics and block diagrams and design files that help you to speed your time to market. So, if you are an advanced user and you want to really build an end application, you can start with the reference design which will give you all the topologies, different devices we are using and also showcase on an actual hardware. Now, let us say you want to do a custom design. If you want to do a custom design, the best way is to use the design files of our hardware platforms, whether it could be a reference design, control card or launch pad and then you can build your hardware from of interest. So, there are a lot of support available on the web to build your own custom design. Today, we have multiple so hardware pieces along with software collaterals that help you to do this. For example, the hardware design guide for F2800 XC2000 real time MCU series provides an overview of system level hardware design as well as information on how to transition from schematic design to board layout. How to maximize GPI usage in series on device lists several suggestions on maximizing the GPI resources on the device to limit the need for IO expanders. So, if you want to do a custom design, we, see, we suggest that you start with some of our hardware reference designs and slowly migrate them towards your requirement. Now, moving on to the software products that we support on our device, we have four types of SDKs. First one is the C2000Ware, which provides you perif peripheral drivers, bit field drivers, communication libraries, as well as compute libraries, examples to get started, tools and utilities. Several documentation is also available along with the C2000Ware. The motor control SDK is a reference for three-phase motor control application. It has the InstaSpin, FOC, Fast Observer, incremental and absolute encoders, real-time connectivity examples as well. There are several examples built in this SDK using which you can actually build a control application. The third one is a digital power SDK which has references for digital power applications. These SDKs are primarily targeted for solar, industrial, power, server, EV charging kind of applications. We also provide lot of libraries and tools to help you build your own digital power design. This is again is built on top of the c 2000 Ware. The last important software piece that we provide is the safety I software. These are reference and production ready software for functional safety. Suppose you want to meet function safety compliance, you need to run some basic software to prove your compliance. You need to run the CPU diagnostic coverage, the safety diagnostic library, all these pieces of software are provided by TI to enable you quickly get to safety compliance either in the automotive or industrial area. So, these are four critical pieces of software that TI provides which run on all our C2000 devices that help you to quickly jump start your software design. Now, let us look at some of the collaterals that we provide with all of these software products. First and foremost is there is a 10 minute video that provides an overview in CCS and C2000 Ware. So, this overview gives you an idea about how to get started with CCS and C2000 Ware. Introduction to C2000 Ware is again a quick video overview of the C2000 Ware development package. We also have quick starter guide which provides you how to look through the package, how to look at different examples and how to access them through Code Composer Studio. TA recently introduced a tool called Sysconfig tool which helps you to build simple headers and hardware software files that helps you to interface on top of the driver lib. So, basically if you want to create uh, pin configurations, configure the peripherals or subsystems, you can use Sysconfig to quickly generate the C and uh, C uh, header and C files on top of driver lib functions so that we can help you to quickly start enhancing the capability of the peripherals. The sysconfig is available as part of the citizen wire and you can load this quickly using the CCS and you can configure any of the TI peripherals. This saves significant amount of time because you do not have to write basic drivers and also you do not have to worry about configuring them for different functionality. The other two SDKs that I talked about before, the MC SDK and DP SDK come with the getting started guide that provides you full details about how to install support, what are the different tools available, what are the different libraries available. You can view them all through Code Composer Studio and get started building your own end application. The Digital Power SDK is a software that TA provides to help you to build quickly a digital power system. So, this SDK has several de reference designs inbuilt inside 
which actually shows different topologies and capabilities of TI devices. This is built on top of the C2Thos Wear and on top of this SDK, we also provide what is known as a power suit, which helps you to quickly build a control application. So I will talk in detail about the reference, app, uh, reference designs and the power suit in the upcoming slides. So let's look at the uh, reference designs that TI is providing. TI, TI provides a quite a long list of reference designs that help you to actually quick start your design. So basically, if you look at the list of uh, AC, DC and DC AC bidirectional solutions that we have, we have supporting a whole lot of topology that is available out of the box. That means there is a software and hardware available for you to do and evaluate any of these topologies like single phase DC AC two phase interlude PFC, valley switching boost PFC, uh, VNF rectifier base three phase PFC, bidirectional three phase interleave totem pole. So all these topologies are covered through our reference design. The reference design numbers are listed in the third column and if you use these names and you can go to the web and actually download and take a look. If you look at the power rating, the reference designs range from 600 watts to all the way to 10 kilowatts. We also show all these uh, different reference designs on TI different C2000 uh, TI parts. For example, if you see the last column, you can see the supported C2000 parts. This means that for each of the design, the design has been, de has been demonstrated on the device that is listed down here. For example, single phase DC AC, it is demonstrated in F2H004X and F2H37X. For example, if you take another design, bidirectional three phase interleave totem pole, TADM02008 is actually is demonstrated on F2H004X and F2H37X. We will cover briefly about this design in the upcoming lecture. Now if you look at the DC-DC bidirectional solutions that TI is providing, again we are supporting whole lot of topologies and showcasing this on multiple devices. For example, peak current mode control, two phase interleaved LLC, phase shifted full bridge, bidirectional full bridge boot, boost converter and so on. So we have multiple topologies which are again demonstrated on multiple TA parts. Again the reference design numbers are listed in the third column and the power ratings in this case range from 300 watts to 10 kilowatts. The devices are listed in the last column. So if you can see that we are actually providing multiple reference designs on multiple TA parts so that you can actually quickly get started with your own design. Let us say you are creating a topology or design very close to one of this, you can use the TA reference design as a starting point which will save you a significant amount of time in building your hardware and software. Now let us look at some of the powerful tools that TA is giving for digital power supply design. So for example, we have the power suit which consists of solution adapter, compensation designer, designer and software frequency response analyzer. The solution adapter is nothing but it helps you to customize the code examples from C2000 our development kit to run on your custom digital power board design. The compensation designer helps you to design custom digital compensators to, as, to achieve the desired close loop performance. The SFRA or the software frequency response analyzer helps you to measure the open loop gain and plant frequency response of your digital filter de power design to assess its stability and robustness. The power suit is actually a powerful set of tools which helps you to quickly jump start on your design. Now if you look at what SFRA can do, SFRA is simply a optimized library that can be used in high frequency power conversion application. It can identify the plant, it can do the closed loop and open loop gain characterization, it can give you the stability information such as gain margin, phase margin and open loop crossover frequency. You can use the SFRA tool to actually fine tune your digital power application. Now let us look at what is a compensation designer. Compensation designer is a simple GUI to help you to calculate coefficients that are needed to be programmed onto the microcontroller to implement a compensator. So the GUI allows you to select different types of compensators like PID, 2 pole, 2 zero and so forth and allows the user to say up to 5 compensator values. The GUI also displays the Bode plot, the pole and zeros of the compensator, critical values such as open loop gain crossover frequency, phase margin and gain margin. We can also look at the loop stability status. The status indicates whether the system has a healthy bandwidth, phase margin and gain margin. So this is a pictorial view of how the compensator looks like and you can actually see that we can see the magnitude and the phase 
uh, and also we can see whether this uh, loop is stable, we can see the gain margin, phase margin. We can also choose the type of the compensator we want and also with this helps you to quickly retune your algorithm and rerun again and again and check your stability. So, I will now show you an overall flow of how you use all these tools for your digital power design. So, this is how you actually start. First, you use the solution adapter. So, you use the solution adapter to adapt the code that is software that is provided by TI to your own hardware. Next is, is to use the compensation designer. So, you design a compensator using the compensation designer based on the plant information entered in the solution adapter. Once you have the coefficients, use the coefficients and incorporate into your source code and build your code using Code Composer Studio. Once you have built your code, you can actually now load it and run it and check the performance using the software frequency response analyzer. So, using the software frequency response analyzer, you can now measure the closed loop performance by measuring the open loop gain and the frequency response. Again, after doing this step 5, you can now do is load the measured SFRA data again into the composition designer to design again and further tune your application. So, this way by iteratively you will be able to reach to a stable control loop algorithm. So, this gives a brief overview of how quickly you can actually start your digital power design. Now, along with all this software, significant amount of collaterals are provided by TI to get you started. First, the places to download our software are listed here. You need to download the C2000Ware from TI website the uh, digital power software SDK, motor control SDK, these are all freely available and you can use these links provided here to download them for your use. Now, in terms of documentation, significant amount of documentation also is given. The best way to start is using the getting started with C2000 software. You can get an overview of the software development and various software available using this software guide. Next is to use the software development and optimization guide which helps you how to use the compiler and how to reach performance. The another two significant pieces of collaterals that we have are this control law accelerator software development kit or the development guide which helps you how to write program and run it on the CLA and the multi core software development guide which is actually useful for you to create software when we have multiple cores on our C2000 devices. Additional resources that are available are very plenty. For example, we have detailed documentation on SFRA library and compensation designer. We also have lot of details about our products in www.ti.com slash C2000. We also have essential guide that provides deeper look into the components that differentiate C2000 MCU as it pertains to real time control systems. This is called the C2000 essential guide. Now, actually if you look at our C2000 device, we provide one of the best compute power in terms of the processing power. We have highly configurable and uh, connected PWM. Our ADCs are highly precise and powerful in terms of sensing. Along with this good capability that we have in our device, we also provide whole bunch of software that helps you to quickly jump start and do your end application building. We talked about the C2000Ware, SDKs and PowerSuite which provide you substantial software support to get started on your software journey. In terms of hardware, we do provide lot of hardware support in terms of the starter kits, launch pads, booster packs, control cards, which actually help you to explore the software and run it and check your own algorithm and software. And also additionally, TA provides several reference designs addressing key concerns and helps in and application building. For example, we provide reference designs which shows peak current mode control, three phase VNR rectifier PFC, interleave laser and LLC. So, all these reference designs help you to actually look at what are the key system solutions and how to address the key barriers using our device. Then we also provide substantial levels of libraries that are highly optimized. We provide the floating point unit library, the IQ math library the Viterbi libraries which will actually help you to further accelerate the compute power. On top of all of this, TA has an excellent support through the ETV and TA.com webpage. So, this overall infrastructure of ecosystem of TI helps you to build your application much faster on C2000 device. As a part of this course, we learnt about how to get started on C2000, what are the hardware and software resources available, how to use the reference design how to do a digital power design. 
Now, you also can go to C2000 Academy for understanding about many of our peripherals and software and trainings available and for support you can go to the E2E forum for help and support on the C2000 microcontroller. Thank you.